In this video, we'll learn why mindset is important. Now every mindset can work in a dual manner. For instance, while your individual mindset can open doors for you, it can also set serious limitations based on your beliefs and approach in different scenarios. This means that just as mindsets can help you spot opportunities, they can equally well trap you in self-defeating cycles as well. The stories that you tell yourself and the things that you believe about yourself can go either way. First off, if you become trapped in a negative or limiting mindset, then your mindset will prevent change from happening in your life. But if you develop a positive mindset, then you allow new skills to blossom. Because your mindset holds your set of beliefs, it has immense potential to make a difference in your life. For most people, their beliefs are the core of their efforts. As such, beliefs distinguish people who are successful at what they do as opposed to others who continually struggle. These beliefs form the basis of where your abilities comes from. Just think about your talents, your intelligence, and your personality. Do you consider these traits to be simply fixed and permanent? Or do you think these are aspects which you can cultivate and improve on through life? The rigidity or flexibility about these beliefs is what determines your mindset. Having the right mindset for any particular task is almost a prerequisite for success. Whether you're a parent, teacher, student, entrepreneur, or in any other profession, you need the right mindset to be successful at what you do. Every profession comes with its own hurdles and obstacles, and having a positive mindset allows you to not only overcome those obstacles, but even welcome them as challenges or an opportunity to learn and grow. If you look around you, you'll see that often people with similar circumstances have very different results in life. This happens because of their mindset. Since your mindset regarding events and situations influences your interpretation of them, the results will be different from someone else with a different mindset. If you've got a positive mindset, you'll find it easier to overcome setbacks than others with a negative or limiting mindset. Or, if you have a negative mindset, you'll feel the world collapse under your feet every time there is an unpleasant experience. If your core beliefs don't support you, then you'll likely set yourself up for failure when faced with a difficult situation. You may be more susceptible to surrendering and admitting failure when all you need to do is try harder or perhaps take on a different approach. You may also need to change your frame of mind. But mindsets aren't mere beliefs and have the capacity to dictate your reactions to situations and other tendencies. They serve a number of cognitive functions and let you frame situations. At the same time, your mindset will also direct your attention to the most important cues and filter out irrelevant information so that you don't overwhelm yourself. Your mindset will also give you direction by recommending sensible goals to achieve so that you have a sense of direction. Once your mindset becomes habitual, it defines who you are and what you can become. How Mindsets Are Formed For the majority of people, their mindset is created for them at an early age. It may be through parents, teachers, friends, or others that you readily absorb what you were told. And because when you're young and have no other point of reference, you accept the offered knowledge. This basic information then becomes embedded within your psyche and starts to shape your beliefs about the world and your place within it. As you grow and mature, life experiences and events may contradict that earlier knowledge and somewhat change your mindset. However, the earlier knowledge continues to stick and becomes your reference point for much of your life. For instance, if you're surrounded by people who are in a constant state of anxiety and overwhelm, then there's a good chance that you'll develop a mindset that mirrors reactions to life in ways that are anxious and overwhelmed. Your mindset continues developing and becomes stronger the more you repeat and practice your beliefs. Now, if you become locked in a negative or limiting mindset, then you'll likely keep repeating negative self-talk and start to see things in a certain way. This practice can become self-fulfilling until you completely believe it to be true. On the other end of the spectrum, if you have a positive mindset, then it gets reinforced through your beliefs and consequent actions. The Emotion Factor However, repetition isn't the only factor at play in the creation of habits and beliefs. The emotion factor also plays in this equation. When you mix repeated thoughts and actions with emotions, the expected results can alter. Both helpful and bad habits get created the same way through repetition, but the habit can be embedded more quickly and strongly when combined with emotion. Take the example of comfort eating. You know that it's not good for you, but since it makes you feel good at a time when you are down, you turn to this habit to lift up your spirits. Once you get into the cycle, you develop a behavior paired with powerful emotion and an unhealthy eating habit is formed. What does science say about mindsets? Neuroscience, or the study of the nervous system, 
tells us that the brain is continually creating and destroying neural pathways. These pathways, in turn, form our thoughts and behavior patterns, which tells your brain to make decisions, choose actions, and present you to the outside world. Among these, the pathways which are used more become stronger, while others that remain underused become weak and ultimately get replaced. This scientific data correlates with the explanation of different mindsets because the brain is pre-wired with the bias to learn new things. At the same time, there are also those people who learn to stop learning and become trapped in a fixed mindset. People with positive mindsets are more likely to improve which reinforces the thought that ability can be enhanced. On the flip side, people with a negative mindset appear to stagnate which reinforces the thought that they get stuck at their current ability level with no improvement. These two particular are of concern to us in this video course and are known as the growth mindset and the fixed mindset. The difference between the two is that while one focuses on the results achieved, the other stresses on the process. The fixed mindset prioritizes results such as getting that job or losing those 30 pounds, where the person thinks that they are defined by the result. The growth mindset tells you that the effort put into the process of achieving that result is more important. This is because you can become more intelligent, more creative, and more successful by focusing on the process and not the outcome. It leaves a lot of room for improvement, which means you continue to grow as a person. Going forward, let's take a closer look at each type. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.